Okay, so this is your tutorial for week 11. Ah, so it says differentiate the following functions. Huh? Okay, so I'm going to function. Uh, it's a little bit uh, weird. Um, because we are usually familiar with this kind of functions where y equals to 3x squared plus 4x. Oh, if I let differentiate, yeah, if we differentiate this, we get dy dx. In differentiate mass and yellow, we, uh, we multiply the power and the coefficients. We get 6x and then you minus 1 from the power, oh, plus 4. Oh. So you are familiar with this. This is called ex, uh, explicit differentiation. Oh. Because this function is an explicit function, meaning all the subjects, all the y, uh, y is a subject of this formula, so that's why it's explicit. Um, so, but we, if we end up with this kind of function, now uh, this our mix for because still x mod y for up here. So, of uh, we need to uh, apply the the method they called implicit differentiation. Uh. so here's how it works. So, implicit differentiation, you differentiate. Uh, x uh, normally but whenever you differentiate y you put dy dx next to it uh. okay so let's do an example here uh. so for example this one so differentiate so our 3x square we get 6x plus and differentiate literally y we get 6y and we put dy dx next to it uh. and that's the only difference or implicit or explicit yeah, uh, differentiate a little 2, we get 0, because uh, 2 is a constant, and you, if you differentiate a constant, you will end up with 0. Okay, so now our next task is to make dy dx the subject of this formula. Uh, so it's easier, you just get rid of 6x, so you minus 6x both sides. We get 6y dy dx equals to negative 6x, and then we divide by 6y both sides. And our answer is dy dx equals to this guy. Uh, or we can simplify. We get negative x over y. Because uh, cancel the 6 to 6 to left. And that's your answer for implicit differentiation. Uh, so it's simple like that. Okay, let's do another one. So we have 2x cubed equals to 2x squared plus 5. Remember, we need to make... To differentiate normally but when you're dealing with y you put dy dx next to it okay so this side we get 6x squared because uh, 3 times 2 we get 6 and then minus 1 from 3 you get 2 to the power differentiate for little y we get 4y and then dy dx and then plus 0 because uh, if you differentiate 5 you get 0 you divide both sides by 4y because we need to make dy dx equals the subject of formula so therefore our answer is dy dx is equals to we can simplify the like answer uh, to simplify by 2 so we get 3x squared over 2y yeah. okay let's move on for number 3 it's also a little bit different because uh, let's say the 3x uh, is standing by itself but for 2x squared and y cubed, they are standing together. It's a product. Uh, they are multiplied together. So therefore, we need to apply the product rule here. Because you see two functions are being multiplied together. Okay, so we differentiate normally on this side because we get we get a constant. So that's 0 equals. So it's supposed to be here. Okay, so 3x, we get 3. Uh, a plus or a here. And then we apply the product rule here. I think it's better to put the brackets huh? so the product rule they they, they find the formula but we can do the shortcut huh? so the shortcut is you differentiate one function and then the other one remains the same plus the lot here differentiate the one that was that was remained the same the first time and and it remained the same the second one so for this uh, let's apply it here so we differentiate it 2x squared we get 4x and then remains the same little y cubed a plus or la yeah, remains the same or la yeah, 2x square I differentiate the, the y cube which is y 3y square and since we are differentiating y here we get dy dx next to it uh, uh, <clears throat> okay we need to get rid of 3 we minus 3 both sides so we get negative 3 equals to 4xy cube 
Yeah, you can combine 3 and 2, multiply together, you get 6. So that's plus 6, x square, y square, dy, dx. Yeah, get rid of uh, 4xy cube. So we minus 4xy cube here, and we also need to minus it on the other side. So we get negative 3 minus 4xy square equals to 6x square y square dy dx and last bit uh, we divide both sides by 6x square y square so therefore our answer is dy dx equals to negative 3 minus 4x y square earlier uh, yeah divide here by 6x square y square and that's your answer. Sick. Okay, um, moving on. We get 3x squared plus 3 equals to ln of 5x squared. So let me recall uh, ln. When you differentiate ln, for example, ln of 5x. I differentiate the ln. Uh, differentiate. Sorry. This is why. Ah, uh, so whatever's inside the bracket, that's in the denominator. Ah, uh, our Lungala numerator is the derivative of what's inside the bracket, so it would be 5. Ah, uh, the derivative of our ln, you know, if I didn't cancel, and we get 1 over x as the answer. So that is also apply here. Uh, so whatever's inside the bracket, 5xy squared, we put it in the numer uh, denominator. And the derivative of whatever's inside the bracket is going to be in the numerator. But what, what's inside the bracket is x and y squared. So it's a product of two functions. So therefore, we need to apply the product rule here as well. Oh. Okay, so we get 6x plus 0 equals to yeah, apply to e. So 5y squared. The lot of denominator or lungala or the derivative or there. So we derive 5x, we get 5 equal y squared plus. Derive lola y y square and go to five x or five x. Derive y square, we get two y dy dx. Here, uh, we need to make dy dx the subject, so multiply both sides by five x uh, five x y square. So that would be uh, six times five, we get thirty. X times x, we get x square. Your y square equals to five y square plus five times two r. Uh, 10xy dy dx okay get rid of 5 square so we minus 5y square both sides okay we get 30x square y square minus 5y square equals to 10xy dy dx by y roll out here by 10y square uh sorry 10xy divide by 10xy so therefore our final answer is dy dx equals to yeah, divide roll here uh, so uh lunga e this is five we have a common factor uh common factor the five we can factor out five and also y and we left with uh five times few 5 times 6 more 30, yeah, so that would be 6 x squared y because it goes over 40 cy minus y uh, all over 10 x y. You simplify it uh, 5 from the, from the 10, you get 2 y and y. So your final answer should be 6 y squared, uh, 6 x squared y minus y all over 2 x. Uh. No se quita. Yeah, so that's your tutorial for this week and um, I have a homework for you so please try and do the homework ah uh, let's just to come five I I put out final homework and try and apply the implicit yeah if you need to clarify something or need to ask questions so you can come and see me and we can discuss about this homework ah uh, Okay, and that's our tutorial for this week, week 11, and I'll see you when I see you.